Hello, welcome to another edition of Charts Chat. I am Paul Charchian from LeagueSafe.com uh, here with you at Open Sports. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I want to talk today about the importance of grabbing free agents uh, ahead of the curve. You always want to be a week ahead of everybody else grabbing free agents. So I thought it was important to, to look in our crystal ball here and see who the hot pickups are going to be next week so you can get them this week. And, you know, in doing that, um, you know, in some cases, you know, doing a little long-term forecasting and, and just some other situations that, that could change. And so I, I want to first talk about a couple of emerging quarterbacks, guys with shaky situations, Brady Quinn and Sage Rosenfels. Let's start with Brady Quinn. Obviously, Derek Anderson's been bad, really pretty bad. And his case hasn't been helped by Braylon Edwards, who's also been really bad. And he's had all the drops you probably know about. Um, it, the change here could come soon, and it, it could be as... Could be as early even before, you know, it could be that Brady Quinn actually ends up starting, but uh, I think more than more likely they will give Derek Anderson an opportunity here to uh, to uh, come out, have a good quarter, half, and see if he can sustain a little something in, in what is a pretty tough matchup. Still, um, with with Quinn, you got to figure sooner or later, it looks like the time's coming, right? There's a sinking ship. Desperate coaches do desperate things. And right now, Romeo Cornell is on the hot seat big time. And, you know, Quinn, it, it, on your roster as a starter, man, there's so many weapons, right? You've got Braylon Edwards, who's normally very good. You, you've got a great tight end in Kellen Winslow. So a lot of opportunities for him to succeed. He's been learning from the bench. His preseason performances have been good, both as a rookie and earlier this year. So Brady Quinn, a guy you could pick up now in the hope of using him in the future. Um, the other guy I mentioned, Sage Rosenfels. A couple of th uh, quick thoughts here. First, Matt Schaub has been terrible. Uh, this is a team with a fair amount of, um, of quality at wide receiver in Andre Johnson and, and Kevin Walter, who's pretty good too. And Sage, you know, just going back and you know, looking back at his stats from last year, really pretty darn good. Uh, more touchdowns than interceptions. He threw a touchdown every game in which he had any meaningful time. Uh, a couple of uh, really nice big games. Um, so there's a lot of upside with Sage Rosenfels here. And, you know, with Matt Schaub really struggling, you, 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 there's a very good opportunity to get him on the cheap now. Um, if he goes into a starter's role, there's a, there is a chance that he's a he's not just a bye week starter for your fantasy team, but, you know, maybe, you know, not in the top 10, but he might be in the next 10 guys, and that, you know, that might be good enough to, to start for you on your fantasy team. Um, then I want to talk about some of the forgotten receivers that are going to start popping back up on the map in the next two, three, four weeks. Uh, first are the two guys in Seattle. Now, Seattle's on bye this week. So that makes uh, both Bobby Ingram and um, uh, Deion Branch easy guys to pick up this week, and you'll be ahead of the curve. They're both expected to be available beginning the week after this Sunday for week five's games. And, you know, this has been a, a Seattle offense that's uh, has struggled without them. You know, you know the whole deal with the receivers. They've, they've obviously, you know, really struggled with all the, all the problems at receiver. These two guys are going to step in and be just so, so much better than anything that Matt Hasselbeck's had to throw to yet. And um, both guys familiar with the offense. They've been here a long time. Um, they're going to be able to step in and provide a pretty big impact right away. And, you know, Seattle's actually been running the ball shockingly well lately. And so this looks like a better balanced attack. Than, uh, than actually I thought it would be. So picking up Branch and Ingram, and actually I prefer Ingram a little bit over Branch because Ingram's proven himself to be a better scorer, uh, but picking up those guys now makes a ton of sense. You know, they'll be very trendy one week from now uh, after the bye week, but if you can, you can be ahead of the curve. And then I want to talk about two other guys. I sort of don't mean to prattle on too long here, but uh, Kevin, Curtis, Kevin Curtis has got uh, the hernia surgery. Uh, he's expected back in two-ish weeks, maybe three, uh, but that you know that's coming around pretty soon. And this is a Philadelphia offense that has looked pretty darn good so far. And Donovan McNabb playing well. And as long as McNabb's out there, um, you know Kevin Curtis is going to be a pretty good pickup. You know, he was the team's leading receiver last year, and um, they've been able to fill in the gaps with guys like Hank Baskett and Deshaun Jackson, who've put up nice numbers when. Kevin Curtis comes back, he's going to pick up a lot of that slack. And he's a good player and, you know, not sure, you know, where his conditioning is going to be and, you know, what, you know, what he'll be ready. But um, somebody you could pick up now a little more long term. And then Chris Henry, he's in the last week of his suspension this week. He comes back and Chad Johnson's been invisible. And I got to wonder if there isn't some scenario out there where Chris Henry gets a lot of time either replacing Chad Johnson, which frankly would be just great, wouldn't it? And or just coming in as a third receiver and being another threat there. 
Um, you know, they've had Chapman go come in and put in pretty good stats uh, in, in his place, but Chris Henry's obviously the better receiver. So um, there you go. A lot of different guys that if you if you pick up now, you'll be a week ahead of the curve um, with everybody else trying to pick up these guys next week. Brady Quinn, Sage Rosenfels, Dion Branch, Bobby Ingram, Kevin Curtis, Chris Henry, all guys that can help you and pay off with some long-term planning. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.